हेलो बायोइनफॉर्मेटिक्स पीपल्स चलिए वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट व्हाट इज बायोइनफॉर्मेटिक्स इज सो बायोइनफॉर्मेटिक्स इज अ इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी फील्ड हेल्पफुल टू सॉल्व वेरियस बायोलॉजिकल हाइपोथेसिस सो इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी इन द सेंस इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वेरियस फील्ड्स सो बायोइनफॉर्मेटिक्स हैज बीन ओरिजिनेटेड बाय द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बायोलॉजी इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस दैट्स व्हाई इट इज मर्ज इन एमर्जड एज अ सिंगल डिसिप्लिन we name this one as a bioinformatics so if you see the definition of the bioinformatics there are various definitions of the uh, various definitions are there for the bioinformatics but according to the embl european molecular biology laboratory they define the bioinformatics as science that helpful to store retrieve analyze a large amount of biological information so here the first one is a store store means we can store the our biological information in a biological databases so we can retrieve our biological information from biological databases and if you want you can analyze your biological information by using various uh, bioinformatics application or bioinformatics algorithm to create a, a meaningful data okay just assume the bioinformatics is not exist what will happen for example uh, we'll, we will take a example of human genome so human genome already uh, approximately consist of nearly 3 billion base pairs if the bioinformatics is not existed just things that to just take a print uh, to take a print of uh, complete uh, human genome in a4 paper uh, it's it's nearly it's going to cost you like uh, 3 pallets with the 40 boxes of papers you needed to print the entire human genome so if you want if you started to uh, read the entire human genome 24 into 7 it's going to take a nearly 120 years to complete that much of huge information is there in a human genome so it's almost it's highly impossible it's highly impossible to understand the human genome manually and solve the puzzles of uh, 3 billion base pairs so but but that's the thing so bioinformatics able to answer uh, or resolve the complexity behind the human genome so generally the bioinformatics has been came to limelight during the human genome project only by helping the human genome project uh, project sorry uh, by helping the human genome project to solve uh, to identify the various uh, number of genes it almost took 13 years for them to successfully sequence the uh, entire human genome but due to limitation in the technology they are not able to discover uh, the functional regions in a protein they are not able to fully discover okay they identified uh, only a six partially 60 to 70% of the uh, genes from uh, the human genome uh, they are not able to entirely solve functional regions of the human genome sorry if we are if they are able to solve the 100% 100 if they are able to identify the all the genes and the, all the proteins in the human genome it's very easy for the any researcher or scientist to cure any kind of uh, disease which is related to the human being so at present uh, at current uh, we have uh, so many high throughput sequence technologies uh, technologies are available uh, they are generating a huge amount of uh, you which amount of what up uh, sequencing data or biological data so bioinformatics methods are able to unlock the puzzle behind the human genome by identifying the genes establish their function and uh, uh, developing gene based strategies for prevention diagnosis and treatment the field of bioinformatics is ever changing rapidly it is evolving okay when we have seen the last two years back when we see when we see the, the methods or application whatever we use right now they are outdated so vice versa uh, uh vice versa the techniques that were unpractical two to three years ago might be invaluable today oh thanks to advanced computational method the computer science people who was uh, working very hard Uh, to discover various application uh, various application various software to analyze our biological data okay so 
So bioinformatics has been classified into uh, uh, its various classes depending upon the type of data you are using. So as I told you previously, uh, the bioinformatics is not specific for one particular discipline. So we have given a, one example there in a, uh, above as a human genome, but it can apply anywhere. If you are working with the plants, if you are working with animal, bacteria, fungi, virology or genetics, you can apply anywhere. See, even it is not necessary that you need to have a, a very high amount of biological background. Even if you have a, a computational background, you, you, can, you can work in a developing a databases, writing codes and statistics. So developing a computer hardware, web technologies. There are so many opportunities out there that are waiting for the bioinformatics, the field of the bioinformatics. So uh, in the last conclusion, I just want to give one more, uh, the final slide for you to define what exactly the bioinformatics is. The bioinformatics is a science that helpful to store, retrieve and analyze a large amount of uh, biological information. This is about the bioinformatics. So next video, we will see the, what are the future opportunities, uh, scopes, challenges are there uh, in a bioinformatics. Okay, so after that we are also going to see some of the journals, open open access journal, what are the open access journals are available uh, to publish the various various kinds of biological various kinds of uh, bioinformatics data. We'll we will prepare one more video on the topic also. Please like, subscribe, share for more informative videos on bioinformatics. Thanks for watching.